registering to vote, encouraging others to vote. And uh, <laughs> this is a very timely thing to be bringing this up, given the Supreme Court decision uh, last week about Hobby Lobby, uh, which is an ominous thing. Uh, could have a chilling effect on uh, on you know women getting access to health care and uh, it, it's it's a real can of worms so that really should underscore the importance of voting because who is on the Supreme Court is kind of the whole ball game in terms of things like this so uh, you know <laughs> and if you are someone who who likes the way the Supreme Court is going you need to vote too but uh I'm pretty confident we outnumber you but anyway a uh, headcount is a great organization, and uh, they are in the front lines of this. Uh, okay, let's see what Matt in Baltimore has to say. Matt, welcome to Tales from the Golden Road. Hi, how are you? Okay. Hey, so uh, uh, just let me say first off that I'm a uh, you know, big Grateful Dead fan, big fan of the show. But the uh, uh, reason why I was calling in is because I wanted to ask um, you specifically um, – and sort of getting the, the, the Grateful Dead context, context in perspective here, uh, it sounded like you've got some, uh, you're dis, dissatisfied with the recent Supreme Court decision on Hobby Lobby. And, uh, you know, coming from sort of the conservative side of the Grateful Dead spectrum here, um, many of us believe that, uh, you know, we thought it was pretty scary that there were four uh, Supreme Court justices who uh, were in favor of voting against the Constitution of the United States. You're on a talk show right now, the uh-huh. Grateful Dead talk show, and you are you are advocating a a left wing point of view. Actually, I did. Actually, I I, 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 I did. I did no such thing. What I did was I told people to support headcount and participate in democracy. And I said, if you're fu- and I said, if Hey, shut up. Shut up. Whoa, shut hey, up. Come on, I'm a fan. You don't talk to fans that way. You know what? I'm a fan of your show and everything. Else. Right, so n- right, right, now, right now you're not talking as a Grateful Dead fan. You're talking as an ideologue, and you don't cut me off when I'm trying to answer you. Here's the thing. The, great, the, the Grateful Dead have nothing to do with this. I, the Grateful Dead members, all of them, support headcount. Headcount is an organization that encourages people to participate in democracy. And I explicitly said when I was setting this up that if you're fine with the Supreme Court as it is, if you were fine with the Hobby Lobby decision, you should get out there and vote, too. You should participate in democracy. That was what that was the way I set up my plug for for headcount. So I have my opinion. I I have my opinion. You said more than that. That's not all you said. No, I, I said I am personally very disturbed by the by the Hobby Lobby okay. decision. But if you support the Supreme Court as it is, if you support corrupt hacks like Antonin Scalia and and Clarence Thomas, who don't recuse themselves from cases when their spouses are involved and they're making money, that's fine. You you go out and vote and vote for the people who will who will, uh, uh you know, appoint more right wing hacks. I will fight to the death to keep the Supreme Court from tipping any more to that side. And that's why I support headcount, because I believe in full participation in democracy. And we're going to move on right now. Thanks for calling. Okay, that was fun.